Well, what's going on guys? I just finished the Bema by Tim Stevenson a little while ago, and it is, um, it's a very thought provoking book. Um, kind of the disclaimer is that if you don't believe the Bible, um, it's probably going to be a difficult book to, to swallow. It's going to be, um, there, there's, yeah, I'll, I'll just say that, but it's a book about a guy who basically, um, gets, uh, brought up to heaven and uh, I don't I won't go into too much detail about it but gets brought up to heaven along with all other believers and one by one each believer in Christ is brought up in front of Jesus where they're basically giving an account of their lives and this isn't a, a judgment to figure out who goes to heaven and hell all these people have a relationship with God and so they're, they're actually just receiving rewards for the things that they did while in this life. And what the book, without getting into, the, all, into all the nitty gritties, what the book really causes you to do is to reflect on where you're investing in eternity. Obviously, making a decision to trust Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that's the number one most important thing. But then after that, it's, you know, loving God and loving people through all kinds of different ways and it really forces you to think about the things that you're investing in that maybe aren't terribly important and the things that you're investing in that are and it may, and I, I think the the beauty of the book amongst many things is that it gets you to think you know if you really believe in eternity and um and how fleeting this life is obviously it, it makes sense that you would invest most, if not all of this life, into things that will last forever, namely relationship with God and relationship with people. But I think the tendency for all of us is to get caught up in the trivial, in the day-to-day uh, -day details of life, and to not think, I, I, I like the way, I, I'm not sure who, who said this, but we tend to make a nothing out of eternity and, a, and, and an eternity out of nothing. And the book really challenges that. And I think that's what makes it so valuable. It's like, it's kind of like a, a book that I would recommend um, if you feel like you need a priority reset. So anyways, The Bema by Tim Stevenson, definitely worth checking out. And I hope, it's, I hope this is helpful. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, would love for you to, and have a great day.